Hey guys! So today I'm going to share with you what is in my activity bags for my kids for General Conference this year. Uh, General Conference, in case you don't know, is a, a conference that runs every six months in our church and it's where the apostles and prophets get up and uh, other general authorities as well get up and give messages that are relevant for us today. And so um, there are four different sessions and each session is two hours and so there's four hours of it on Saturday and four hours of it on Sunday and so I have a little three-year-old girl and a two-year-old boy who are very busy and so it's difficult for um, the adults to listen to the conference sometimes and that's why I have decided to make these activity bags. Now I've done this before for them but every year I do something or every six months I guess I do something a little bit different for them. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I did this year. I posted a picture of it last year and got a lot of questions about what's in each bag and stuff for them to do. So um, some of these ideas are not just mine. I found them on in Pinterest or other bloggers' websites uh, and things like that. So um, I'm not going to take all the credit, but <laughs> some of these ideas are my own. And of course, I've compiled it in my own unique way. So how it works is each session has six talks, so there will be 12 bags per day, so there'll be 24 bags in total. So all I've done is just got these bags from the dollar store. They come in packs of two for a dollar, I'm pretty sure. Um, it was Dollarama. And then I've just pasted a construction paper with uh, each number on the thing. And it's so big because the last time I did pictures of each general authority who would be speaking um, to try so that the children could go match the picture with who's speaking on the TV to learn their names and stuff, but I found it really didn't work because I wasn't able to structure the bags in such a way that works. So for example, maybe uh, because you never know what authority is going to speak before they speak. So sometimes they would get four treats in a row or something, say, and then all the treats would be gone or four activities that were quite, you know, I just wanted to be able to structure it that, um, you know, in a way that made more sense to me, I guess. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So the first um, thing in the first bag is just some coloring sheets. Now I printed this off the LDS website. So there's two coloring sheets, one per child, and then two uh, activities. So this is a maze. Oh yeah, okay, so I did a maze each and they're upside down. Let's do these a little better, sorry guys. Um, so a maze each for them. Now Tobias won't be able to do the maze, but Tob Alice really loves mazes. So I just like to give them something that matches. And then, of course, um, I have some pens and some pencil crayons for them to do that activity in the bag as well. Then I'm not running around looking for pencil crayons when I'm trying to listen to what's going on on the TV. All right, so number two here is just two suckers. And that will absolutely keep them occupied <laughs> for that whole talk, probably, which is great. So I've got one sugar cookie and one cotton candy. And I just got these from the dollar store as well, two for a dollar. Um, this whole thing, by the way, all 24 bags, I managed to do for about $40. So it's not anything too expensive. And a lot of it is stuff we already had. For example, bag number three has these, um, I think they're called magma form blocks in them. But um, to make it a little more fun, I printed off a few different uh, things that aren't in the book um, that we could make with them. So this is like a little Ferris wheel, a little different kind of house, just to make it a little more interesting for them. So that's bag number three. Bag number four is just some Doritos. So I just got a little bag each. They'll love having their own bag. We never eat little bags of chips like this, so they'll think that's really great. So they were a dollar each. Number five is they each have their own activity book. So these are just like Velcro activity books. I'll show you guys inside one just in case you want to see. Um, but my mother-in-law made these. She's very crafty and wonderful. So obviously we're missing the O there. It's in the bag somewhere. So it just has little activities. This is make a monster and um, make a uh, make the uh, armor of God. And so the pieces are just in the book here. So I guess it's not really exciting for you to see without all the pieces. But there's some cars. You can design a car, um, match the names of the Bible pictures, count the Paw Patrol pups, etc. And so Alice has one of those as well. And so they're just like quiet time books that we bring to church. 
All right, number six is, I was going to buy that Kinetic Sand from Walmart, but it's so expensive and you don't get very much. So I found online a recipe to make Moon Sand. And so it's just like this in the bag. And it's, you know, when you squeeze it, it, um, it like, it stays formed, I guess is the best way to describe it. And it's just six cups of flour and one cup of oil. So, um... Yeah, so that's really handy. Here's bag number seven. This this is just uh, some puzzles. So I've got two puzzles each for them. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to tell you. In the moon sand one, um, I've got these little funnels for them to make, you know, castle tops or temple tops or whatever. And then uh, just some cups for them to play with the moon sand. Bag number eight is these, uh, just a little two bags of goldfish crackers. I bought one, like, package, and I sorted it into four different ones because they'll also get that for Sunday. And a juice box as well for each of them. All right, number nine is I bought these Easter eggs at the dollar store and they can color them with some crayons in the bag as well. And they can color them while they watch that talk. Number 10 is some full-size chocolate bars. Now remember, this is a different session than the chips, so they'll have a nap in between getting these uh, treats. Not that that makes it any better, but it makes me feel a little better. Um, <laughs> but remember, this is a time for them to get excited, and so um, it's nice to get some treats. So number 11 is this, just some water activities. So they have this toy. It's like a little bathtub and all these puppies, I don't know if you can see them very well, that they color and then they wash off in the bath. You can pump the water out of the tub and it splashes onto the puppies and they have a little brush in there where they scrub down the puppies. Um, so there's that one and then I'll also get out their toy sink for that one. Obviously it doesn't fit in the bag, but again it has dishes and I'll fill it up with water for them so they can play with a little bit of water. And by the way, I purchased a big sheet where I put down in the living room so that all these activities like the moon sand and the water and there's some painting next um gets not on my floor <laughs> like I can just shove the sheet uh, in the garbage or whatever when I'm done so the next one is in the last one and I did this on purpose for the last one so that they could have a bath after when conference was done for the day but it's just some random face paints I had some face paints I have face paints as you guys know like professional ones but I found this someone gave me this face painting Halloween kit and so I'm never gonna use that so I decided I'd let them play with it and it's got face painting crayons it's got some like glitter gel you know how face painting Halloween kits are so that's the first day um, all packaged into the boxes now I'll tell you um, what I have for the next day I kind of can't show you because I'm gonna be putting it into the boxes like I'll show you some things but not in quite the same fashion so there's 12 more for Sunday I'm just gonna get my list the first thing again they'll do is these activity sheets let's see okay so these activity sheets again so there's again two coloring for them and two mazes this time I did the same maze for both of them so the repeats are the goldfish, the chocolate bar, and the snacks. Like, same thing, chocolate bars again, and this time I got them hoops instead of burritos. I'm going to be attaching a yarn to a, a needle and then giving them, this is like a plastic needle, <laughs> and then I'm going to be um, having them string on some beads. I'll tie a big knot at the end of the yarn and they can string on the beads and make necklaces or whatever for one activity. And then I've got these coffee what do you call these? Um, like, you know, where you put it in your coffee. Oh my gosh. Coffee filters. So I've got these coffee filters and um, what you do is you color on them in marker and then you fold them up, fold it in half and then half again and then half again. And then you dip this part in water and the water goes all the way up the coffee filter and you can see it, the marker sort of blurring as it goes up. And then you let them dry and they're these cool like little tie dye coffee filter things where you can glue them on or whatever I think they'll think that's pretty neat so I've got that I've got we're gonna do play-doh instead of moon sand so this is my bin of play-doh stuff and they love to do that play-doh 
so it's got all sorts of, you know, the hamburger set and the toaster and stuff. Then I have regular paint for them to do. I'll just give them paper and, like, acrylic paint and, is that the name of it? Kid-friendly paint? I don't know, whatever it's called. Uh, and I'll just let them paint. Then I'll put a bag of magnets in one, and I'll put, I'll give them some cookie sheets, and they'll be able to play with the magnets on the cookie sheets. Um, the next thing I'll do is I have some peel-off nail polish. I never let Tobias paint his nails, but, I mean, it peels off in, like, five seconds. So I'll let him do that tomorrow as well. So I'll give them the little bottles of nail polish and let them paint their nails for one. Black it. Um, the next thing I will do is, okay, so I bought these, all these different flowers from the dollar store, and I'll cut them down, um, and then some pots, and, and this wet floral foam, and so I will put the floral foam in the pots for them, and let them do their own flower designs, okay, so I've got all these different flowers. This is probably the most expensive thing I got, but if they're decent, then I'll actually use them, you know, or I can rearrange them or something. But anyway, I'm sure these don't even match. I have no sense of color matching, but anyway. I actually watched a video the other day that was like, um, how to use a color wheel kind of thing, because like, I'm so bad. That's like my greatest weakness, I'd say, at face paintings. Like, I never know what colors match. I put these colors together, and they're like, so that's it. That is the 24 bags that I am going to do for my kids for general conference. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today, guys. And if you want to see more videos like this, sort of what I do with my kids, homeschooling, mom life, that kind of thing, then um, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And also don't forget to ring that bell so that you know um, when I upload videos because I'm not quite consistent yet, but I'm trying for every Friday at least. And also give this a thumbs up and let me know what you guys do for general conference uh, for your kids. I would love some more ideas for the next six months. Um, and uh, yeah, so comment those below. I would love to hear them. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.